<laughs> no. Look, tell Batali not to skimp on the raw bar. If he wants to cook something, he took the wrong gig. So now, what's the um, dolphin update? God, I knew Peter would get involved. Hey, no phones. Sorry, new here. Does the same go for porpoises? You're new to the club or the English language? All right, let me call you back. It's just planning my housewarming. I heard. We all heard. I also know your head count, the fact that your party planner kicked you out of the house for micromanaging, and right now they're dechlorinating your pool for the swans. <laughs> Hope nobody plans on swimming. Swans are filthy animals. I didn't realize anyone was listening. Well, it's hard to tune out Nolan Ross. <laughs> he knows my name. Uh, well, let me make up for the disturbance. I'll cover your top. <laughs> Thanks. No need. Maybe I can offer you something money can't buy. Put you on the list for my party. I am curious to see how somebody blows two mil on one evening. <sighs> You're Negroni. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything else, Mr. Grayson. It's Osborne, but I'm on the Grayson tab. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... What's your name for the list? Patrick. Patrick Osborne, right. Got it. <laughs> Where have you been? Out exploring the neighborhood, uh, meeting neighbors. I kind of ran into Patrick, who is now kind of coming to my party. What? Well, if he does decide to come, keep your distance. We don't know enough about him yet. Sorry to interrupt your lunch. Oh, Patrick, I believe you know. We've met. One time too many. I'm actually here to see Conrad, but I wanted to deliver this. You're going to be hand-delivering all 400 wedding invitations? Surely you have enough money for postage. Actually, it's for Nolan's housewarming. He wanted to include all the neighbors, so... Oh, how sweet. Well, I've never needed an invite to attend any function in the Hamptons. Oh, Conrad awaits. Who knew you to be such a Florence Nightingale? Oh, there's so much you don't know about me, Victoria. Oh, I'm learning more and more each day. Mm. Nolan's looking forward to seeing you later, Patrick. Excuse me. Uh, I met him earlier, and uh, he asked me to drop by. <sighs> Patrick, under normal circumstances, I would never tell you what to do or who to see. But when it comes to Mr. Ross and Miss Thorne... Believe me, I didn't realize they were friends until just now. Well, they are. And they're thick as thieves. <sighs> didn't expect to see this here. So it was you who won the auction for that painting. I'm assuming my mother knows you have it? I'm assuming your mother's Victoria Grace. As if you didn't know that as soon as you sat down next to me at the beach club. Friend Emily sent you there to suss me out, didn't she, after she tried and failed last week? But what? <laughs> no, I had no idea who you were. Trust me. My mother warned me not to trust you. And yet, here you are. Well, I like to draw my own conclusions. Clearly, my mother and Emily have their issues. The thing is, I don't care. That's what I came here to tell you. I don't want to get caught in the middle of their histrionics. Understood. Sorry, Mr. Party. Maybe next time. Oh, and uh, great swans. <laughs>